Hello friends, myself Chirag. Today I am going to discuss with you virtual memory, topic of computer organization and architecture. First of all, what is virtual memory? The name suggests itself. Virtual means appears to be present but actually it is not available. We can say it is physically not available in front of us. The concept of virtual memory technique is that use more memory for a program than the real memory. For example, uh, one program is that uh, in which uh, execution of the program uh, it required more memory compared to available physical memory. Uh, at that time virtual memory will be used. So virtual memory is the concept of uh, illusion. So we can say that illusion is like that. Uh, user thinks that the size of main memory is equal to the size of hard disk. We can say secondary storage need of virtual memory why we use virtual memory virtual memory is a imaginary memory which we are just assuming that is not available physically a programmer can write a program which require more memory space than the capacity of the main memory such a program is executed by virtual memory technique we have already discussed uh, before the program is stored in the secondary memory the memory management unit transfer the currently needed part of the program from the secondary memory to the main memory for execution so whenever any kind of program will be in execution a program will be stored in hard disk at that time uh, execution uh, during the execution processor requires some part of uh, data or uh, code uh, we can say inst instruction uh, it is available in uh, ram movement of instruction and data between the main memory and the secondary memory it is called swapping address space and memory space uh, virtual memory is the address used by the programmer set of such address is called address space so it is physically not available an address in main memory is called location or physical address so address of the main memory is called physical address the set of such location it means uh, available in physical memory available in RAM the set of such location in main memory is called memory space or we can say it is physical memory so we can say it is our RAM random access memory main memory thus the memory space consists of the actual main memory location directly addressable for processing so uh, in this figure you can say that uh, this is CPU, uh, this is main memory, this is secondary storage and this is memory mapper. <coughs> First, CPU generate logical address consisting of a logical page number plus the location within the uh, within that page X. Now you can see that this is uh, generated by CPU or uh, virtual address uh, or we can say logical address. It uh, 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 Virtual address has logical page plus uh, in which uh, location it will be stored. It must be mapped on to uh, an actual physical main memory addressed by the operating system using mapper. So this virtual address comes here, uh, mapper checks uh, or verify inside the main memory. This is page frames available inside the main memory. This is secondary storage. If the page is present in the main memory, CPU gets the required data from the main memory. So mapper checks this page frame, uh, frame is available, uh, so mapper gets this frame and gives to the CPU for uh, remaining program execution. If the mapper detects that the requested page is not present in main memory, suppose um, mapper goes to the main memory and page frame is not available inside the mem page mem uh, uh, sorry, main memory, so a page fault occur and the page must be read from the secondary storage into a page frame in main memory so page is not present inside the main memory so mapper goes to the secondary storage uh, find the page frame and page frame move to the uh, main memory and finally mapper uh, get the page uh, page frame from the main memory and gives to cpu now address mapping using memory mapping page table <coughs> When the requested page is not available in the main memory, we can say that page fault have been occurred in the main memory. We have already discussed before. Then the virtual address generated by the CPU is used to take out the requested page from the secondary storage media to the main memory to remove this page fault. Whenever page fault occur, it means the data or we can say that page is not available inside the main memory and data comes from secondary memory to main memory. If 
empty page frame is not available then a page must be removed from page frame in main memory it may uh, we can say that main memory is full at that time page rep uh, based on page replacement algorithm page comes from the secondary memory and replace uh, any of the page in main memory now uh, this is one example for address mapping using memory mapping page table now you can say this is the virtual address uh, this is page number this is line number page number find in this memory page table now you can check it is 101 now find this is 101 uh, it indicates 01 this is the presence bit uh, if presence bit is 1 it means this is active if it is 0 it is uh, inactive so 01 puts over here as per the memory page table it comes in main memory address register 01 this line number comes from the virtual address here and find the first block 01 block from the main memory and uh, gets data and give to the CPU this is address mapping using memory mapping page table example page replacement algorithm in a computer operating system that uses paging for virtual memory management page replacement algorithm decide which memory pages will be replaced in main memory so we can say that page replacement algorithm uh, will comes into the picture when page fault occurs Paging happens when a page fault occurs and free page cannot be used to satisfy the allocation either because there are none or because the number of free pages is lower than some thresholds. At that time page replacement algorithm will be used. There are three different algorithms available for page replacement. One is FIFO first in first out, uh, least recently used and optimal. Advantage and disadvantage of virtual memory execute the processes whose memory requirement is more than physical memory so we can that uh, whenever our ram is in shortage at that time a virtual memory is in picture enhance performance of the system we can say very helpful in multi programming environment disadvantages first one it takes more time to switch between two applications or more than two applications uh, less hard disk space for your use because some of the hard disk space is used in virtual memory reduce system stability thank you for watching this video please like share and comment subscribe my channel on youtube chirag valoria press bell icon to get new video notification thank you